welcome to the next lecture uh, in this lecture we will be discussing about how do you solve real time problems and what do you actually mean by a problem and for how, solving those problems what do you mean by problem space and what is the need for searching techniques these are the basic things which you will try to under, address in any artificial intelligence problem now we will move on to the next slide in general, a problem solving process is a process of generating solutions from observed data. The, the meaning of it is any problem will be given. From those observing or reading those problems and observing the data, we will be trying to solve by identifying what are all the objects, what are all the operations that can be performed and what is the goal, what is the main goal to solve these problems. So these are the basic things required for solving a problem. And when we say problem space, the problem space is an abstract space which comprises of valid states that can be generated. For example, we can say when there are two there are, when there are two jugs, one jug is holding four liters and the other jug is holding three liters. These are various numbers. For example, if the maximum capacity is four and the other one is maximum capacity is three, it can even hold less than that. So there are various states that can be possible to solve a single particular problem problem so we are just understanding the problem space by dividing them into number of states right. coming to the next one for solving these kind of problems we basically used different types of searching techniques where most commonly are dfs and bfs depth first search and breadth first search are going to be very common and among those in certain cases heuristics can also be applied so when you come to the breadth first search, we are searching along with your breadth and when you go to your depth first search, we are searching along with your depth and in cases of heuristics, you will be normally assigning a heuristic saying that from starting position to ending position, this is a heuristic value that is assigned to reach the goal node. So any search procedure will be starting from your starting node to reach your goal node by using any of these kind of two algorithms apart from these there are so many that is already also existing which we will discuss one by one when we are going into the particular unit right now coming into some real time problems where these are this can be explained for as i told you previously a water jug problem we may have two different jugs one will be having four liters for example the other jug will be having three liters but your objective will be to Fill two, fill two liters on your four liter jug. So how this can be problem? So what are all the different states inside that? So we'll start discussing that problem in detail in the classroom. And similarly, any kind of gaming environment where decision making is involved. For example, chess involves backtracking, tic tac toe, backgammon, any kind of puzzle problems, eight puzzle problems. So all these are basic things where you have to analyze the states and perform some kind of searching strategies to whether it will fit into that particular place or not. So all these are some basic examples for which problem solving is necessary. And this is your algorithm for your BFS. More detail we'll discuss inside the classroom. Right now I'll just give you the solution of this alone how it is working. For example, if you start with the root node that is at level A level 0 and we move to level 1 and level 2 and level 1 we have B, C and D and level 2 we have E, F, G and H that is you start from A you reach B and you process at the same level C, D and after completing level 1 you move to the level 2 E, F, G, H and this is the way your BFS algorithm is going to work. Right? This approach is having certain advantages and certain disadvantages. All these things we will be discussing more details inside the classroom. Let's just make this video lecture a little bit short. So this much is enough for this particular lecture. Thank you.